guys, Mike is back with another video. Today we're gonna take a look at the Fosse amplifiers. It's a pre-amplifier and this amplifier. I'm gonna tell you, I forget to test this Fosse amplifier. Um, this, this is a ZA3, uh, the model from the Fosse amplifier. This is a serial amplifier also. You can run uh, the mono or with the XLR inputs, all that stuff, right? I forget to run this amplifier with my giant speakers right here. This is a 15 inch speakers, right? As you can see, these are the giants. The amplifier, I see there's so many videos, guys. We were guys watching just the people talking about this amplifier. I'm not gonna keep talking, talking, talking. I'm gonna actually run this amplifier with the music. I'm gonna run from the preamp. The reason why I'm uh, running this from the Fosse P3 preamp. This is very, very nice and clean sounding amplifier from the bunch. I uh, test so many um, AIM amplifiers, DOC, um, I really, you, you name it. I, I test so many of them. And I will test every single Fosse amplifiers. I'm gonna order anything that comes up brand new to the market like this like this one it's gonna be next video right i'm gonna run these amplifier next video so only that fuzzy amplifier it feels more a lot expensive a lot nicer a lot better quality for the price than any amplifier i tested on my i'm not gonna try to too much advertising but we're gonna run some music all right Right. Um, as you can see this Fosse P3 and the amplifiers oh, that, that's gonna be too loud so the both uh, the amplifier and the pre-amplifier they have a op amps inside you can change these amp uh, the op amps so it's gonna be the sound output is gonna be different and we're gonna run a little bit okay amp is maximum So it's um it was a 50% loud, right? So two right. The fast amplifier it's gonna give you with this setup. I have a five amp version, it's a 48 volt, huge brick. It didn't get even warm, right? This amplifier is gonna give you 150 watt. 55 watt per channel for this 4 ohm and you can bridge it here uh, Stereo or mono as you can see you can bridge it. it's gonna give you 235 watts uh, The very nice and clean not the like not the brightest one uh, Because uh, I had the preamps a lot brighter, but the two amps, uh two preamps. It's gonna be a specific sound uh, I like it and also you can run uh, as a Bluetooth or RCA. It's very very nice preamp. I love it uh, for the price and you have a headphone output here, right? I put all the links on the description, right? So let's let's play the different music guys All right, this one you guys have some bass
Yeah, that's it. That's it. Ah, oh, it, it's get crazy loud. It's only the advertiser 150. <laughs> I was enjoying this part, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the more music, guys. These speakers like as 1500 watts uh, watches, right? So they get really, really loud and very nice and sensitive. I have a, a full detailed uh, review of these speakers also. And th th those are giant, like uh, this is 75 inch TV, right? Right, when is the idles, the amplifier, you see that? It's a maximum power. I was like zero, it's dead. There's no hissing sound, no cracking sound, anything like that. Even if you uh, move these knobs, it's very, very nice and clean. And sometimes when you turn off, like it, those cheap amplifiers, you hear that? It's a click and turn on. Sometimes you're going to hear the popping noise from the, all the cheap amplifiers, right? But these ones are super clean and nice. Now we're going to run again. It's another music. Let's do it. Okay, 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 all right, all right. It's a lot of times any microphone is doesn't matter if when it gets uh, super loud, it's gonna get distortion, right? You guys, or the YouTube is gonna get distorted because it's gonna be compressed so many, so many times, right? Uh, when I'm editing, it's gonna be get compressed when I'm recording, and also you guys listening on your phone speakers, please make it louder so you're gonna hear it. If even your phone speaker is gonna get uh, the bassy, right? When you make it louder, trust me, make it louder and you're going to hear it, right? These speakers open baffle, right? It's going to be open air, a lot punchy, nice bass, beautiful bass, right? But you're going to get the ground shaking. You're going to add those monsters, the 15s. In the next video, like a following video, so I'm going to add those, uh, the subwoofers and you're going to see it. Only the once or twice I run these uh, subwoofers and I get cracked right there the big cracked because everything shakes on my uh on my uh, living room right here everything shakes like crazy so these guys the monster already giving very very open light punchy uh the bass it's more than enough to listen to any any music but when i uh connect these monsters that, that's gonna be next level so i'm gonna run fuzzy amplifier again z3 on these uh, the subwoofers for the next few future feature video right if you guys didn't subscribe to my channel definitely subscribe it i will upload a lot of video and every single thing comes up as i say the from the fuzzy audio i'm gonna order it and i'm gonna give you the nice demo not a bullshit talk show right so what do you guys think about this one hmm? look at the build quality I like all the fuzzy uh the units a lot of stuff here RCA inputs optic clocks all right this is all in one the unit I love the view uh, the meter so it's gonna be a lot interesting so it's a bunch of uh, items I have to do review also 
All right, guys, if you like something like this, comment below. If you guys are running any of these amplifiers, let me know. Compare with your build, what kind of speakers you guys are running. Uh, because I run these amplifiers, exactly the same uh, unit with the bookshelf speakers, with the... And the, these amplifiers are overkill for the bookshelf speakers. For the tower speakers are good, but for the bookshelf, I don't know, you, you can buy a little cheaper ones than these. All right, I'm out. Hope this video is going to help you guys and everything. I put the links on the description for the music, for, for the units, for everything, right?